we have a pretty easy sight word that we're looking at this week. A. And if you know your alphabet, then you know the sight word A. It's the first letter of our alphabet. When we see it as a word, we say A. So we're going to touch the dot underneath the word and read. Here we go. A, 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 A. Now I have to highlight the word A whenever I see it. There's the word A. I'm using my yellow highlighter to highlight it. There's the word A. I'm using my yellow highlighter to highlight it. I don't see it again. There's the word A. I'm using my yellow highlighter to highlight it. I don't see it again. There's the word A. I'm using my yellow highlighter to highlight it. Okay, now that we highlighted the words, we can read the words in the sentences. I will know some of these sight words and others I'll have to use context clues. That means I'll have to look at the pictures to help me and I'll use my beginning sounds and think about what makes sense. I see a b -b bird. I see a, same word, bird in the t -t tree. I see a b -b bird in the nest. Nest. I see a b bird. It's the same word. In the sky. Very good. That's the first time we read, so I will circle the first child so that I can remember. I need to read two more times. Okay, here we go. Now that I know it, I'm familiar with it, I can read it a little faster. I see a bird. I see a bird in the tree. I see a bird in the nest. I see a bird in the sky. I see that exclamation point. I want my voice to be excited. All right, I'm going to circle my second time reading. Now I have one more time to read. Oh, I forgot to read the sight words at the top on the other one. Oops, let me do that this time. A, 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 A. I see a bird. I see a bird in the tree. I see a bird in the nest. I see a bird in the sky. That's my third time reading. Alrighty, so now I get to rewrite my favorite sentence. Hmm, I think I will write, I see a bird, because that's what I want to draw. I like that bird there, so that's the illustration I want to do. Now, you don't have to do that one. You can choose a different sentence from, from these. My first word on all of these sentences was the word I, and the word I is always capital, no matter where it is in the sentence. Then in between my words, I leave a space. I like to put my eraser as a spacer. I could also put my finger. The next word is C. We know how to write C. S, E, E. I see, then I leave my spacer. My next word is A. I know to write that, I make a magic C and turn it into an A. I see A my space. Here's my word bird. For my B, I do a bat and then a ball. The er sound has that vowel I because every syllable has at least one vowel. So the er is I R. That says bur. Bird. D. I need my D. Magic C turns into a D. I see a bird. Now, if you kept going with a longer sentence, you might run out of room. 
You might have to turn your paper over or you might have to write here. What did I forget? I did, I forgot the period to end my sentence. I see a bird. Now, I did this sentence because I wanted to try to copy their bird. It looks like their bird has a circle and then it looks like the feather is kind of like that. And then that looks like there's a triangle for the beak that's pointing down and two dots for the eyes. And then there's a little wavy part here. Then there are some wings. Ooh, I don't think I'm doing as well as they are, but it's okay, I'm trying my best. There's some wings on the other side. And then the legs, it looks like they go down. Ooh, and then out. And then it looks like in, out, in, out. That looks okay. I'm gonna do another one. It has two lines out. And then it goes in, out, in, out. <laughs> I like my bird. It looks a little different than theirs, but nobody's is going to look the same. After you've read three times, make sure you circle or color. Then on your fourth time, you are going to turn on the video camera and read this to us. We want to see you do a great job.